Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm filming a Sunday reset, self care Sunday, Sunday in my life video. And I'm excited to have you all here today. It is the morning, obviously. <laughs> I've just been like getting ready. I have FLE5 in a bit, which I'm really excited to go and do. I didn't work out much the previous week because it was my time of the month and I was just feeling tired as you do, like not super high energy. So I let myself have a little rest and I didn't work out too much, but we're going to the gym today. My energy is definitely higher again and I'm really excited to work out and get a good lift in. Today is like a resistance filled day, so it's gonna be a good workout and I'm really excited. My apartment is a mess, so I'm gonna to need to clean when I get back. As you do on a Sunday, or as you do really like every day, it feels like um, a lot of the time. Anyways, I'm just gonna take some supplements this morning, taking my hormone balancing supplement, which I do think really helps with my hormones because my time of the month is very regular. And I'm very happy about that. And actually my last, or this previous time of the month that just ended was really good. I had barely like any symptoms compared to the previous month where I feel like they're kind of bad. Like this month was really good. Um, I just had, I barely had any cramps, which was nice as well. Like that is always a godsend. And then I'm also just taking an iron supplement this morning. I am like naturally, um, deficient in iron, so I like taking just an iron. This is iron by Glycinate 20 for women, and I feel like it really helps. We have more energy. I started reading a new book. I don't know where my Kindle is. Where is my Kindle? Is it over here? <laughs> this is what happens to me. Like I take things and I don't even know where. Oh, it is here. It is here. <laughs> I am confusing myself. Also the sun. <laughs> I'm gonna sit in the sun for a minute. I'm reading a new book. It's called The Housemaid by Frida McFadden. Woo! I am already halfway through, if not more. I think I'm like 55% of the way through the book already because it is so good. I started reading it last night and I re literally read like 12 chapters. The chapters are not super long, bear that in mind. I'm probably going to finish this like today, tonight. I'm going to read it in one day because it's so... It's like one of those thrillers that just just grabs you and locks you in and you're like I need to finish reading this so if you're looking for a quick easy read highly recommend though I feel like I already know the twist because I feel like it's similar to some other books that I've read but we'll see if I'm correct or not but I have a feeling I'm gonna know what this twist is my workout over today I'm just wearing this lululemon um quarter zip top it's actually cold out today it was so warm yesterday it was 12 degrees and now it's dropped down to zero today so love that and then I'm wearing some leggings from story which have dog hair all over them i need to remember to lint roll before i leave i feel like my hair is looking really dry i ordered the pureology shampoo and conditioner because that one is like my all-time fave for when my hair is highlighted i just feel like it's so moisturizing i get the repair one and it's just so good so i'm really excited for that to arrive i used that or i ordered it myself like just under a year ago and i used all of it because it was so freaking good so i'm really excited for that to come so i can next hair wash i'll be able to use that and get some hydration back into my hair <laughs> because you know what highlights are out here doing to us
Hello guys, it is later this afternoon since I last talked to you. I've just been reading most of the afternoon. I am like loving this book. The Housemaid, it is so good and I just can't stop reading it. So I've been thoroughly enjoying that. I'm like almost done. I'm definitely going to finish it probably tonight because I feel like I just can't stop reading it and I love when I have a book like that. But I thought I would just curl my hair. I'm just not liking the way that it air dried and it's bugging me so i'm going to curl it i also haven't had it really curled since i got it done because i just ended up getting a blowout last time also i love this hairbrush i don't know if i showed you guys i got this off of amazon it's by the tangled teaser brand and it's called like the hair finisher or something but it's so gentle on your hair but gets all of the knots out and i am obsessed with it Anyways, I'm just using this GHD curl, it's like a wave wand, and I'm just going to do some waves in my hair. Nothing crazy, I'm not going to hold it on too long, probably about five seconds, because I don't want the curls to be like too intense. I just want like a nice light wave throughout my hair, and I really like using this wand for that. And I'm just going to go out throughout my whole head and do this, and then I want to do a quick clean. Aiden's going to be coming over in a bit and I haven't cleaned yet because I've just been reading like I told you guys <laughs> I have just been in this book a whole I made myself a tea and I literally just sat there and was reading for so long but it was such a good book and it just like drew me in and I couldn't stop reading it and also my sweater if you're wondering where it's from is Lululemon I got it I think last year I curl my hair I'll show you guys the finished look when it's done hair is done all curled I think it looks really cute it'll just fall out more too like as Time goes on, but I love having my hair all waved. I feel like the old Chelsea always had her hair done. Anyways, I'm going to do a clean now. I need to vacuum and just put stuff away. It's just looking like a little bit like a disaster, as you do. So I'm going to just organize myself and vacuum. I really need to wash the floors too, but like I get real lazy with that one, okay? I get real lazy when it comes to actually swiffering the floors. <laughs> everybody it is the next day it is monday today and i'm continuing on my vlog today i'm actually about to go and run some errands i need to go to the grocery store i need to get dog food and i also want to go to a like organic store because i want to see if i can get more of that elmhurst cashew milk i drank all of it and it was my favorite milk for my coffee and i want to see if i can find it anywhere around me so i don't have to order it online because it's just annoying ordering groceries online is just annoying you know like i'd rather just go get it. I just got ready. I did just some natural makeup, which is basically just concealer, bronzer, blush, mascara. I did my eyebrows and then my new favorite lip product, which is the Rare Beauty Lip Oil in the color Hope. It's like the perfect everyday my lips, but better for me because my lips are really pink toned. I did have some new hair products come in from Sephora that I ordered. After that, I'm doing like a no shopping week this week because I'm trying to contain my shopping addiction okay so we're doing no more ordering anything for the week and i'm hoping for all of april just to be like a no shop month for me like just no no personal shopping no clothes no makeup no hair care no skin care none of that i got my routine i have clothes i'm good okay so <laughs> that is my plan for the month of april i even put it in my habits on my planner i was writing on my planner 
this morning for the week. And I literally put one of my habits I wanna do is no shopping because I think I have a shopping addiction. Anyways, I'm just drinking some water. Another goal for this week is to drink two of these a day, which would be around two liters of water. I think this is 946 milliliters. So basically two liters of water. Also fun note, which I'm gonna pick up at the grocery store. I tried this yesterday. Aiden was over last night, which is why my vlog ended abruptly because we just hung out all afternoon and night. I didn't vlog anything. Um, we had a really nice hangout, just chilling, watching some Love Island, Australia. This is so good. La Croix and peach pear. Like delicious. I don't know if it has a ton of, I guess it doesn't really have a ton of sugar. It says natural essence. I don't know what the hell that means. Um, but I'm gonna pick up some more of those because I really liked that. And I've been trying to find like a sparkling water beverage that I like. I feel like they're a great substitute for like alcohol because I don't really drink anymore. I've decided I'm just gonna kind of not really drink anymore. Like an occasional glass of wine, yeah, but I don't really like drink, drink, right? So I think that's a great option for like going to like friends get togethers or something if everyone's drinking those are really good to just like have and they taste better than just like sipping on a water you know i'm gonna pick up some more of those i need to come back clean my kitchen because i have dirty dishes and stuff but anyways welcome to today we're gonna continue this vlog productive little monday we love productive days in the life anyways i'm gonna go and i'll bring you guys along with me to do my errands I'm so happy that I just found that milk. I bought three. Because <laughs> when you find something that you want in stock, get multiple. Just watch the next time I go looking for it, out of stock. Always happens to me, so buy in bulk. <laughs> that was super successful. I got everything that I wanted to get. And I was super fast. I still have like 10 minutes in my parking, I think. Maybe more? 15, look at that. Look at me go, speed demon. That was really successful though. They had everything that I wanted to get, which was, I guess I can look in the viewfinder. <laughs> so good, now I have my cashew milk all stacked up for my coffees. Cause it's so good at coffee guys, it's so good. Even ice, like with the cold foam, delicioso. Anyways, I'm gonna head home now, unpack all these groceries, do a quick clean of my kitchen, and then we'll have to take Millie out for a walk. It's actually pretty nice out today, so I might go for like a nicer walk, especially cause I'm not going to the gym today. So we might do like a little bit of a longer walk and just get some fresh air because it's sunny and it's gonna rain for the next two days. So we need to take advantage of the nice weather while we have it here. Let's go home. Guys, here's everything that I picked up from the grocery store. So I wanna make a lot of like Greek Mediterranean inspired meals now that it's spring because I like like more fresh food during this time of the year than like hearty food. So I got a bunch of lemons, some olives, tzatziki. I wanna make these like Greek meatball meals. So I got ground pork, which I plan to make the meatballs with. And I need more olive oil. I always make sure I get extra virgin olive oil. Lemons, a ton of red onions for salads, pasta salads. Literally, they're just the best. I then got just some freeze-dried dill and freeze-dried garlic. I love this little freeze-dried things. It makes it super easy and it's just really good. It's like almost like having fresh, but not 100% fresh and it lasts way longer, so I love it. Then I got a ton of fruit because I love fruit all the time and veggies. I try and like stay out of the aisles because that's where the processed food is. Obviously I got a couple processed things, but I try and stick to the perimeters of the grocery store. It's the easiest way to be like a health girly. Kiwis, strawberries, ton of cherry tomatoes because I'm gonna be making a pasta salad for Easter to bring, so I need it a lot. Cucumber, orzo for the pasta salad I'm making. Lemon, tzatziki, peppers to have in salads or I like to have them with scrambled eggs too, really good. Some French bread, I love French bread. It's like the key to my heart. Bananas, some more Swiss cheese because I was running low. I also got this cereal that I wanna have, like sometimes in the morning I never know what to eat and I don't want eggs and bacon and I don't want this. So I'm like cereal with fruit, I actually really enjoy. I love this brand, Nature's Path, and I like the Sunrise one. I've never tried their crunchy honey, so I'm really excited to try that. I feel like it'll be really good. And then I feel like that's mostly it. Oh, they also I noticed they started taking carbon tomato sauce. 
at my grocery store. And this is like my favorite tomato sauce of all time. Like the texture is just so much better than other ones that you get. I can't explain it, it's just so good. It's like thicker. Got some regular milk for cereal or tea. I need some more toothpaste, so I just got this one because I would love to have whiter teeth in three days. Um, <laughs> So I picked up that and then I just have my Elmhurst milks that are still by the door that I need to get But that's everything. I'm gonna put all this away now and just stock up so my I've fridge I got my packages that came in from Sephora So the first thing was I got this little set if you guys are looking for a shampoo and conditioner They have a little set right now so you get it on sale in the full size of the shampoo and conditioner and then a mini of the Color Fanatic like leave-in conditioner kind of thing from Pureology. So I picked up this one, it's the Strength Cure. I've tried this one before and I really, really liked it. And since my hair is bleached now, I'm really trying to make sure that I keep it healthy because I don't want breakage and dead hair. I picked up the shampoo, conditioner, which I'm really excited about. And I'm actually really happy to have this mini because my Color Fanatic that I have is literally like this big of bottle. So this will be perfect for travel, etc. It's basically just like a leave-in conditioner. It's really nice. You spray it in, makes your hair super easy to brush out. And then last up, I just got this Kerastase Blonde Absolute Oil. I had the full set of this, but I was brunette. So I ended up just giving it to my mom because I was like, oh, you can have it. Well, now of course. I want it again, so I had to order myself one, but that's fine. I just ordered the mini size for now just because I wanted to make sure that I really liked it before I ordered the jumbo size. I'm pretty sure that I love this oil because I have tried it and it is really nice. I'm like putting oil in my hair constantly because I feel like I just want to rehydrate all of the bleached parts. Right after I get my hair done, I find it a little bit more dry and then as time goes on and I like take care of my hair, I always feel like I can bring it back to life. I've done that previously with my highlighted hair, so I'm really liking that. That smells amazing too. The scent of this oil is so good. Also, the size is just great for travel. It makes it a lot easier because the regular size is like this big. <laughs> so this is definitely a lot more convenient to take on the go traveling back and forth to my parents place or up north to Aiden's cottage etc like this size is better so i do really love all that i'm going to be using all that in my hair and keeping it nice and healthy with the bleach i'm going to take millie on a walk now though i have just been doing some editing for this video i got a good amount done so i'm very pleased with that and then i was just doing some tax stuff that i need to do but I want to talk to you guys some more book, some more book stuff, because I know we love books over here. I finished The Housemaid, also didn't realize that there was a second book. I have been informed, so I will read that very soon. But I finished it, I rated it 4.5 out of 5. The reason I took out a 0.5 is that I read a book very similar to it, and it was a little bit predictable for me in that way, but still had me at the edge of my seat. It was slightly different than the other one that I read with the end in like, the characters and stuff so i still really really enjoyed it and just loved every minute of it highly recommend that book right now i'm currently reading the serpent and the wings of night which i'm so excited to get into i've heard such good things apparently the second book in this little duology comes out in april i think in april sometime in two weeks or something so perfect timing for me i could fit, read this and then immediately read the next one if i love it I've heard people compare this to Akatar and saying that this gave them the same feeling that Akatar did. And I know for so many of us who read A Court of Thorns and Roses, we've been looking for that feeling since. A lot of books are close, they're close, but they're not it. They're just not there to the feeling that book gave us. I'm very excited to get into this one, read more of it, let you guys know what I think when I finish it. I'm hoping I'll be able to finish it this week for sure and I will give you guys an update on how I feel about it. I already feel like I'm gonna love it. I love vampires, I love vampires in books, so <laughs> I'm excited. And I love a strong female lead, you know? Like assassin vibes, like she kicks ass. Yeah, I'm here for that, always. Very excited and I will keep you guys updated on it. Just made myself dinner, so I'm having chicken and then I made like a lemon dill Rice is like a Greek inspired meal, so lemon dill rice. The chicken is like an olive oil, lemon, Dijon mustard, thyme, garlic, marinade, and then I made like myself a Greek salad and I have leftovers as well. This is me making sure the chicken's cooked, which is why it's like attacked because this one is not aesthetic and this one is. <laughs>